This week we are at Amport Primary School and this is Andrew and Esme who invited us here. Andrew, what can the Junior Rangers help you with? I would like to learn how snakes move. And Esme, what do you want to find out? I'd like to know if we move the same way as animals. So Joe's in the classroom with the rest of the group. Let's go and join them and see what we can discover. Today we're going to be looking at the way lots of different animals move and see if we can copy them. We'll have a look at videos of how each animal moves and then see if we can move in the same way. Well, what animal shall we look at? I have five sealed envelopes here. Who would like to pick the first animal? Flamingo. Well, let's have a look at the video of the flamingo. This is our flock of flamingos. They come from Chile, which is a country in South America. The flamingos are not naturally pink. Their color is caused by the food they eat, and at long meat, they have a specially prepared diet to help keep their beautiful pink plumage. Now, flamingos are probably best known for standing on one leg. So let's try copying that for our first animal movement. OK, who wants to stand on one leg like a flamingo? To move like a flamingo was really hard because you had to stand on one leg and keep your balance all the time to make sure you didn't fall over. When I was moving like a flamingo, I felt like I was actually a flamingo. OK, who would like to pick the second envelope? Charlie. Snake. OK, let's see how the snake moves. This is Hermione. She's a royal python and she lives in Pet's Corner at Longleat. She's very popular with visitors and the keepers often bring her out to meet them. You can even get to touch her. Snakes have no arms or legs, so how do they move? Snakes use their muscles to help them slither and shuffle across the ground and even climb trees. They flex their muscles and the scales on their bellies push against the ground, moving them forwards. Do you think that you could slither like a snake? Ooh, this is like a slivery problem. Who'd like to have a go? When I tried to move like a snake, it was quite hard because I couldn't do it without moving my legs because I can't stretch like a snake does and move myself with my tummy muscles. Well, its muscles push us on the ground. I thought it must be really slimy because they've always been on their stomach most of the time. OK, who wants to pick the next card? Giraffe. OK, let's watch a video of the giraffe. In the East African Game Reserve, you can see the giraffe. In the world, they live on the plains of Africa. Now look very carefully at how the giraffe's legs move. And now let's have a look at how a horse moves. Did you notice the difference? Most four-legged animals move like the horse. They move their opposite legs together. But the giraffe is very different, as it moves both legs on the same side at the same time. So which do you think would be harder to walk? Like a horse or like a giraffe? The horse, because um, the, the, cause they're opposite legs. The giraffe, because you do two legs at a time, at the same time. I think like a horse horse because the opposite legs would make it harder. If you walked with two opposite legs you'd probably fall over forwards. So I think if you used a giraffe you'd have more steadiness. As you can see it's pretty difficult. 
that was fun. I wonder what animal will be next. Lion and tiger. Okay, let's see a video of how the lion and tiger move. Have you got a pet cat at home? Lions and tigers are big cats. They can be fierce hunters, but they can also be very playful. In the wild, they stalk and pounce on their prey. You can see the young cubs practicing here. Do you think that you can stalk and pounce like a big cat? Let's all have a go. My favourite animal would have to be um, the lions and the tigers. My favourite animal is the tiger because it's got black and orange stripes on it. It was really fun to be a lion because it was really nice and pouncy. There's only one animal left. I wonder what it'll be. Who wants to open the final card? Wallaby. So, let's have a look at how the wallaby moves. These are the redneck wallabies that live in Wallaby Walk at Longleat. They are a type of animal called a marsupial. A marsupial is a mammal where the female typically has a pouch in which the young are reared. Red-necked wallabies come from Australia along with other well-known marsupials such as kangaroos and koala. Wallabies have very small front legs which are more like arms and very big back legs. They move by hopping along and they use their large tails to help them balance. Do you think you can hop like a wallaby? When you jump, it's a bit like you're going really fast, but in the end, you feel like I'm not going fast. And then as you get used to it, you think, actually, I think I'm good at this, and then you're doing it well. The hardest animal to copy was the wallaby. It was quite hard to copy how high they jumped and how far they jumped. Do you want to move like an animal? You can find out how in this week's activity sheet. Just click on the green download button. Well, that's all been good fun, and we've learnt a lot about the way animals move. Which one was your favourite? That's all for today. So, goodbye from the Junior Rangers and the pupils of Amport Primary School. Bye! In our next show, we will be finding out what the animals at Longley eat. So come and join us on the 16th of July for... Feeding Time. <laughs>